Hello, my name is Robert and today I'm going to show you how to do hard edge modeling. So as you can see, I have a pretty cool mesh over here and I use the subdivision surfaces. Actually, I apply them so you can see it, but I did. And I also use the smoothing instead of the flat. And basically, this is a way of making hard edges and this is going to make your uh, renders more realistic even like razor blades and stuff have a little bit of a curve in real life so this is something you want to make sure you're doing okay so let's start with a pretty basic example i want you to use a cylinder and i want you to make a subdivision surface and as you can see this looks completely ugly and it doesn't look like a cylinder at all so i'm going to go into the edit mode and to do the hard edge modeling you basically want to do uh, you want to add more edges where you where you want um, where you want that edge to be sharp okay so I'm going to do a loop cut with control R and I'm going to move this up as much as I can I don't want it I don't want to touch because it would make it less realistic but if that's what they're going for then go ahead and you also want to do and set faces around here so we have even more edges and it looks more realistic and actually I want them to be closer so just like that and, and as you can see it's pretty pretty sharp so I'm going to smooth that out and as you can see it's pretty cool and actually we have some I don't know if you can see it in the video but we have some weird geometry around here so to solve that just select the faces and do some inset faces just like that and it solves the problem so you can also do some pretty cool things around here let's um, do two loop cuts and I want you to insert these faces and scale them down and as you can see that's um, smooth but we want to make it sharp so we will do pretty much the same thing I want you to hide this so I can actually see uh, what I'm working with I'm going to do another loop cut and I want you to keep doing this until I'm done you this is something you probably want to do when you're almost done with your mesh because it's a bit hard to work with all these edges to be honest but it gives some pretty pretty cool results and you can make a lot of like sci-fi looking stuff, spaceships and that, it's pretty cool. So, let's add, let's see this and it's, as you can see it's pretty nice. And I want you to add more subdivisions. And the more subdivisions to add, you add, it actually looks even sharper, which is pretty nice. So let's, uh, let's do another example. I want you to delete this. And I want you to make a mesh, a cube, sorry. And I want this solid view. Okay, so let's make something like this, just plain weird. Let's add a subdivision uh, a modifier, and as you can see, this kind of looks like a weird looking berry. So, actually, what you can do. Actually, actually, yeah, let's do the loop cuts again. And let's do some loop cuts over here too. And as you can see, um, where I don't add my more, the, uh, the extra edges, it looks kind of like more roundish so if you add if we add more it's going to look kind of like a cylinder so that's the that's why adding more edges is going to make it look sharper okay so that's all for today i really hope this video was useful if you have any questions make sure to comment and if you have any suggestions for future videos make sure to leave them down below thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye